What's going on YouTube fam? It is your boy Dylan Flex. Yes guys, we are back at it again. Back to back days of uploading. Could it be? It's not a mistake, it's not an error. Yes, we back at it again. I wanted to say thank you all for the support and the love on the last video. I had so many DMs and questions. I'd had no idea that you guys wanted to know about inventory, bulk buying, how to get stuff. The DMs have been crazy and I've been trying to answer every single one of you guys back. Continue to ask me questions, guys. Make sure it's on Capital Vegas. I'm answering some of the questions later, but today's something special. I know you guys like the day in the lifes, so I have a buddy, I don't think who wants to be on video, but I'm gonna show you some of the collection that I'm buying today. Yes, I'm only buying local Las Vegas only. I will be soon buying all around the world, but this right now, I'm just buying Las Vegas only with the pandemic and everything that's going on. I'm gonna show you guys what we got going on. I'm gonna show you some bulk buying, how to bulk buy, what is bulk buying, what should you buy it for, all of that good stuff. Let's get it. I'm going to say shout out to my guy Marvin one time, man. He doesn't want to be on the camera, but we bought a couple shoes from him also. He got some supplements. It's been a great day. I know you guys like the day in the lifes, so I'm going to show you all the ten and a halfs that we got going on in some size tens. I know you guys love that. A couple shoes here. I'll get into detail about what we got in a second. Huge shout out to my guy though. I appreciate you. Thank you. So this is the first load unloaded. I'm gonna show you guys some of the stuff we bought, mostly dead stock. I'm take it out the box and show you guys. This is what bulk buying is. So this is just half of what we unloaded now. So pretty much all this right here is just dead stock. Guys, top three. Dead stock, size 10. Forgot how beautiful these are, man. Some Yeezys, guys, we've seen this. This is a cool one. We haven't seen a dead stock pair of breads in a while. Tags on it, this is nice. Size 10 and a half. So the list goes on and on. This is why I like to buy bulk. I know a lot of you know what bulk buying is. I understand that some of you don't know what that is. So this is just one of the bulk orders that we did today. This wasn't a planned buyout, guys. This was somebody that hit me up. The easiest way to contact me is Capital Vegas, guys. I'll put it up on the screen. I'm gonna talk to you why buying bulk is good and I'm gonna talk to you about pricing right now. Just wanted to show you guys. Oh, shout out to the little homies. Some little Yeezys. Baby Yeezys are always the cutest. So some of the questions I have been receiving is what's the benefit of buying bulk? What is bulk? I know a lot of you know what bulk is. Some of you guys don't. Some of you are just now getting into reselling and that's fine. Everybody starts somewhere. When I first started, I literally had no idea what anything was. So it, trial and error guys of doing the right thing and doing the wrong thing, right? Well luckily, hopefully some of this knowledge can help you so you don't do the wrong things and you guys can make that money. Bulk buying is important because you guys can get the shoes for a better price which makes your margins better. If you guys are buying a couple shoes, which I started and that's great, your prices are not gonna be as good. When you buy bulk, depending on the person, guys, this isn't all the time, but depending on the person, if you could buy multiples, you could always lower the price. And now you're asking, how do I know the price? What should the price be? For me, I go off a couple things. I go off of if the shoe's new or if the shoe's used, right? Well, if the shoe's new, obviously we can go off GOAT, we can go off StockX, right? Two different markets, it's kind of like the stock market for shoes. What I do is I look at the ass, I look at the bids, I look at the payout as well for StockX. So, and then I go to go, I look at their payout, I look at what the shoe is selling for brand new. See, with brand new shoes, there's not much wiggle room, right? If these people understand about GOAT and StockX, which most of these people do, you really don't have too much wiggle room, right? Luckily, when you buy bulk, you have more wiggle room, so the price can be lower, but I go off a combination of both of those. When it goes to used, there's not too many places that sell used. Obviously, Goat sells used, Rail sells used, eBay sells used, so it's a couple places that I look at just to see what the prices are selling for. I also see when the last shoe sold for to see if it's still even wanted, right? So I'm always looking at what the price sold for last and what the price is. When it comes to used, you have a little more wiggle room. That's why sometimes I like to buy obviously both, but used, it's nice. Not beat, used, lightly worn. It's funny because a lot of people don't want to spend the six, seven hundred dollars on a new pair of shoes, right? For instance, a bread. I just bought these today, brand new. Guys, the prices for a brand new pair of these is like a thousand plus, right? Well, pre-owned, it's anywhere depending on the size and condition, three, four hundred, five hundred dollars, right? So a lot of people like to go that route. A lot of people like used, a lot of people like new, it really just depends. But you have to buy, in my opinion, both. So you can literally have both markets. I would not limit myself personally just to one shoe, brand new or used. I have to do a combination of both, and I think you guys should too. Okay, so I'm gonna answer a couple DMs that you guys have sent. Uh, as my phone blows up right now, this is from Brian Flores. 
Hey Dylan, I saw your YouTube videos, man. I mess with everything you said. I usually tend to list shoes for a little higher. I know people will lowball me. I start high so I can let them go down. Do you think that's a good method? Man, I think that's a really good method. Somebody just called me the other day and said, Dylan, I keep getting lowballed. The price that I posted at, they keep offering lower. Guys, that's the name of the game, right? You can't get mad at people doing that. Don't get mad, don't get offended. If you do price the shoe a little higher, yes, you do have a little wiggle room. Also, they feel like they won. When the listed price, they get it for cheaper. They felt like they won, right? So that, that's a definitely a good idea, that's what I would say. Also, how do I sell used shoes as well? Used shoes is easy, right, in my opinion. I would sell them on my Instagram, my website, eBay, Grailed, Goat. There's a lot of places that you can sell used shoes, guys, still. It's been a dry month for me right now. Uh, I wanted to know if you could hook me up with the mystery box. When it comes to inventory, and I'm not just saying this, one of the easiest ways to get inventory and to make profit is buying a mystery box for me. I have literally 60 messages of just, when you drop in another mystery box, when are you doing it, when are you doing it? I try to drop one every single day, one every other day. Yesterday we did back to back drops, people went crazy. It's an easy way to get inventory, guys. So make sure you guys check that out. Okay, so I just got another message from Kevin. Bro, I've been watching your YouTube videos about tips on reselling. I just started on the shoe game. I'm having trouble finding inventory, but you said to DM you for mystery boxes. He said my page is zero game piece zero. Shout out to you, my guy, I got you. I've already started reselling and made a website and social media. I just wanna get inventory. What do you recommend? First and foremost, the last video that I posted, if you're not posting, that you're buying every single day. I literally posted today just so you guys know that I'm actually about this business. Today I went over, I read through all my DMs, and I'm always trying to get back to people as fast as I can, right? I apologize if I don't, guys. So a guy hit me up, said he was selling some of his collection, right? I told this guy, I'll pull up to his house in a U-Haul truck. I literally posted on Instagram too. Yo, I'm buying all sizes, all conditions. I'll pull up to your house in a U-Haul truck. You have to post and you have to want to buy, guys. So that's first and foremost. Are you checking offer up? Are you checking your Craigslist? Are you checking your Facebook marketplace? Are you checking goat for steals at you stuff? You can literally check so many different places on inventory, right? You could also buy a mystery box for me. Yes, I said I'd hook you up with the mystery box. I have no problem, my man. I know they drop fast. If you DM me, I'll take care of you, I got you. So this is the last question I'm gonna do today. Hey man, I have a collection of shoes. I'm a college athlete and I've been into sneakers for a while. I'm trying to get into reselling and make a few extra bucks. I'm just wondering if you had any tips to get started. Yes, I do have tips. Well, the first tip I have is you already have the sneakers, right? So that's one less problem you have to worry about. I definitely would start an Instagram for your sneakers. I would do all the hashtags, I would post constantly. I see a lot of these people posting like one, two times a day and they're like, man, I'm not getting any followers, I don't know what to do. Man, I would post like 10 times more, literally. I would post 10 times more, I would do more stories, I would do more Instagrams, I would literally post all the time. I don't know why people only post once or twice and expect a big outcome. That's like doing two reps of curls and expecting your arms to get bigger. Come on guys, it makes no sense. You have to be consistent, keep posting. I would post on my Instagram that you're selling. I would post that you're buying, obviously. And I would sell on eBay, I would sell on Goat, I would sell on StockX, I would sell on your website when it starts to pick up, but I would definitely do all of those things too because why wouldn't you? So I just wanted to make a short video, wanted to answer a couple questions. If you guys have questions when it comes to reselling, when it comes to shoes, make sure you guys check out Capital Vegas. DM me, I'm answering back all questions. I'll do a little Q&A next video too, just at the end, just to answer a couple questions that you guys have. Uh, I love the support. I appreciate you all so much. Make sure you guys please check out Capital Vegas. The shoes that I just showed you right now are going to sell and fly out. Some of these shoes you can actually make money and resell yourself. I've been selling to a lot of stores that buy from me because my prices are so good that they can flip it from their store. You can flip it from your Instagram. Guys, I wanted to say I love you. I appreciate the support. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for the next one. Man, I just wanna go fast Hold on my teeth and on my neck